Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, what are the bad habits to avoid as a software developer? So let's get into it. Well, there's quite a lot of these. Uh, we can take the silly obvious ones, uh, not go exercising, not eating properly, not taking care of yourself, not making sure that you sit correctly, not making sure that you sit in a well-lit room and you know you check your eyesight and all of these things, like these basic health concerns. That's a really bad thing and it's going to damage you. Uh, it's going to cause you physical injury at some point uh, over the years, unless you're very genetically fortunate. But if we're going to talk about something a little bit more concrete when it comes to, you know, I'm assuming just habits within software, like how you actually work and how you actually behave and how you manage your career and things of this nature. I will tell you, give you a few tips that I, well, I've learned so far. So one of the first and foremost things that about in terms of bad habits that you need to avoid, uh, like the plague, is complacency. Complacency is the most dangerous thing that you can get as a software developer. If you get complacent and you start uh, ignoring and hone, like ignore, ignoring the maintenance of your own skills, you will very quick. And that's not just technical skills; it's social skills and things of this nature. You will very quickly become redundant or become uh, a, the sort of person that nobody really wants to hire because you work in an expert field. And when you work in an expert field, people, the demands on you as an individual is actually quite high. Uh, you know, all these promises that the people out there on the internet gives you about software developers making a lot of money and things of this nature and that, you know, we have all these perks and so forth. I mean, it is true uh, that a lot of this happens, but you have to also be the sort of person who can actually provide the services that are expected of such such a role and if you don't if you don't hone those skills or if you don't maintain them you will just become someone who writes code it's uh, the gap between just knowing how to write code and being the sort of person who actually knows how to work in a professional environment manage stakeholders make pragmatic decisions make good decisions on behalf of the company and on the code base and all this stuff this is a skill that you need to maintain. And without that maintenance, the, your skills rot within, well, they start rotting every, I think, maybe every other year, every third, depending on language now, it can be even longer than that, but it start, you, your skill starts to rot within a few years. And if you ignore them for even longer than that, it's just a matter of time before you become a lot less attractive, let's just call it that. And apart from that, uh, I highly recommend you to avoid copy-pasting code too much. Uh, the reason why I mention this one is more because I've had this unfortunate situation with uh, a junior coworker of mine uh, a few times now where I've tried to explain to her that the, the goal for you as a software developer is to use your mind to understand a problem. And if you're copy pasting code or if you're solving a problem without reflecting on that problem and the th actions that you are actually taking, odds are that you get to a point where you're basically guessing how to get the code correct. And it will start to show quite quickly that you're not actually writing code as much as you are copy pasting code. Now, in this specific scenario, she, I, it was, uh, it gets a little bit, I mean, when obvious things uh, come up in a code review over and over and over and you see a candidate who basically struggles just to get like a basic concept correct, it's not a good, it's not a good sign, especially when you know that that person has the ability to do better than that. And uh, I've tried to warn her a few times about this, that you see, the, the issue with copy pasting code and doing things of this nature is that if somebody else looks at your work and if you don't respect your own work enough to do it correctly, odds are that you would, even if you just have a bad day or even if you like, uh, I mean, you're, get, you're getting paid for the correctness of your code. And if you have a reviewing process where somebody else is going to look at it and they find all of these sloppy, like this sloppy work that you've done, 
it's a really bad thing because that's going to and, and it actually can come back and harm you. Now she's my my coworker. She's very fortunate that I can like I'm I mean because I've been asked many times about this, and I <coughs> I know that she has the skills to do this. And but I and I know that this is a bad habit of hers. But if she were to work at the company where they're less forgiving of this sort of thing, she might actually get a really serious conversation from our manager and her employment at the company could at some point start to come into question because her work is simply too sloppy. You know I've said many times that being pragmatic about certain decisions and writing bad code, that's one thing, but doing sloppy work is a completely different thing. So making sure that you actually respect your work enough to check it, to really think about the problem that you are solving, not just copy pasting, not just like not writing something without understanding it, like just make sure that you don't do that because you need to really understand what the hell you're doing. Just make sure that you do that. It's a, it's a, it's a very bad habit to just copy paste code or use like off the shelf solutions that abstract away the entire problem for you. And lastly, a bad habit that you need to avoid is to be afraid of people. It's extremely important for you to not be an introvert to the point where you can't effectively communicate with other people. It's uh, so important, in fact, that you might actually get fired if uh, it gets too hard for you. If you're too shy to talk to people or if you try your best to avoid any form of human communication, you just like try to communicate to, through people, to people through m emails or messaging or anything like that and you can't actually have a normal conversation with people and kind of just stick, well, if you can't do that, that is a really bad habit that you need to fix immediately because software development is actually quite a lot more social than you can imagine. And stakeholders will expect you to be able to answer their questions and have some form of communication with them because the fact of the matter is that it doesn't matter how smart you are, how good you are at software development, unless you truly understand the other person, the stakeholder in this scenario and the feature that they are requiring you to build, Odds are that you're just going to make an absolutely amazing implementation using all your amazing skills, right? But it's going to be the wrong solution. It's going to be the wrong thing. It's going to, be, do, it's going to do the thing it does perfectly, but it's going to do the wrong thing. So that's the last one, at least, if we're going to keep this as, this as a short list. So what I want you to take away from this is that bad habits to avoid as a programmer, number one, Make sure, never get complacent. Your value, you are, you may be human gold right now if you're if you have the skills because the industry is in such a deficit that they need to mass hire people. But those that value has is directly connected to your relevancy. If you don't have relevancy, if you don't, if you can't produce the results, you're worth absolutely nothing. Second, make sure that you don't copy paste code, make sure that you use your mind because that's the whole, that's your money maker right here, your ability to think about problems and solving them in the correct manner. If you do sloppy work all the time, it might actually come back and bite you and no matter if you can, like it doesn't matter if you can solve the problem, you will not solve the problem in a way that other developers feel comfortable with and you might actually get fired over to being too sloppy with things. And finally, make sure that you don't you avoid human contact because human contact is part of the job. And if you get so afraid of talking to other people that it actually becomes a problem for you, you might also cause a situation where people can't even hire, they can't hire, they're not, they not, they're not willing to hire you simply because they can't trust that you, you're just not going to fit into the team. You're going to be what we call a bad culture fit. And that is, equally, uh, almost an equal amount of the, the, the reason as to why you wouldn't get a job. One part is that you don't have the skills, the other part is that you won't fit into that working environment. So watch out for this sort of stuff. Have a great day.